Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. Let's get right into your love reading for December, all Gemini placements. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I'm going to jump right into the cards, okay? So I did pull these Romance Angel cards off camera. We got separation very soon. Stay optimistic about your love life and let your friends help you. So based upon this energy here, Gemini, kicking off your reading... I definitely feel here like uh, there is those of you who are watching who you are in separation right now, okay? Or this could be a fear, all right? I feel like for some of you or the person watching for Gemini, the cross watcher, somebody here in this equation, in this relationship, in this situation, okay, this could also be a situationship. I just heard the word situationship is afraid of separation, okay? Is afraid of this connection falling apart. Let's see why that is, okay? And like usual, please take the messages that apply and leave the rest. So as I'm shuffling, the Emperor card, which is Aries, just passed my eye. So this could be with uh, an Aries. <laughs> there it is. It just wanted to come out of the deck. So this could be about an Aries. Doesn't have to, okay? Or you could be an Aries watching. Okay, three of swords. Yeah, so this is this definitely could be an X. Or a tough connection, you know, a tough love connection, Gemini. That I feel keeps going around and around in circles, okay? Um, this does kind of have like a karmic flavor to it. Now, that's not an actual <laughs> official uh, name, but I just keep getting this karmic energy. So this could be about something karmic uh, in this person's life, in your life, that is affecting this connection, okay? Okay. The next card I pulled is the Six of Wands. So I feel like you're wanting victory, you know, most definitely, Gemini. I, I really feel like you're wanting victory here, okay? This also shows me a symbol of, like, giving something up and off to the universe. This actually could be an offering or a ritual or even a prayer or a blessing. Um, this even could be, like, donating money, you know, charitable work, charitable gifts, you know, volunteering. I feel like there's an energy here, Gemini, where you're trying to offer something or trying to give something or trying to make something uh, more beautiful, okay, in your life. And I, I applaud you for that, okay? I, I do feel here like you're trying to go about this the right way. Even if your heart is hurting, even if you're disappointed, I feel like you're doing things to better yourself, okay? Slowly but surely, uh, if, if no one's acknowledged this, I'm acknowledging this to you, okay? And so I think it's a good sign, all right? Would that stay optimistic about your love life? That is a good sign to me for you, okay? Let's pull some more cards here strength leo okay so i'm definitely feeling heavy fire sign energy now i am not the only reader who's done gemini readings i'm very well aware of this um i've been reading for quite a little bit of time now so i i, I do notice as well gemini that there's always a, a fire sign in some way that keeps popping up i'm not sure if this is like the same person you're having issues with, but that's what it feels like to me, okay? So we had Aries in the beginning, and now we have Leo. So there is a trend here where I feel, Gemini, that you could be stuck on a fire sign, okay? You could be stuck on a fire sign, so be careful. Continuing... Gemini love December 2020 children okay you and this per you or this person or both of you together could have children something significant is tied to children 
either the lack thereof or the manifestation or the actual physical representation of having children. This actually could, I feel, be an indication of pregnancy. Wow. Even e either for yourself or for somebody that you love in your life, could be a sister, could be a friend, could be a co-worker that you're close with. That could be a Leo or could be a Libra or Scorpio, Gemini. Congratulations. And oh my God, we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck just sitting there and there's no more cards showing. That was insane. So that confirms my pregnancy suspicion. So, wow, this could actually be a physical victory of a pregnancy. Okay, this could be a, a surprise, you know, like you didn't think you were going to get pregnant. You are pregnant. Fabulous. Okay. That is a Leo again, and we have Scorpio, just like I thought. So we have, so the signs that I'm picking up strongly is Aries, Leo, and Scorpio. Two of Pentacles just wanted to come out as well. Okay. Reconciliation. This feels like reconciliation with friends, uh, like social groups. Maybe you were feeling quite isolated, Gemini. I do see you being around more people. So that's very positive as well. People who love you, people who want to take care of you. This even could be a soulmate, a new soulmate for those who are single. Fabulous. Okay, so these cards are turning around. So we're going from separation to reconciliation, to soulmate, to pregnancy, to victory, to I'm even seeing career advancement. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a, a, a very significant month. Passion. Absolutely. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I definitely feel, Gemini, that this is a strong indication, at least for me, for you, that it's time to focus upon uh, what you do have power of, okay? What you can change in your reality right now, okay? For a lot of you, when it comes to an Aries, Scorpio, Leo, or fellow Gemini, you may not, or Taurus, I'm hearing, you may not have as much control as you would like to, but the reality is, is that it's all going to work itself out. I, I do feel here like it is going to work itself out, okay? Let's pull some Oracle for um, advice and guidance for Gemini's. Love life. Oracle cards, love life, Gemini, December. I'm hearing get in the flow. So you may want to like chant a song or sing a song or get creative. You know, let your let your heart sing, Gemini, with that passion card. Okay, like let yourself be happy. You know, are you holding your own happiness back? Are you, you know, isolating for some negative reason? You know, get back in the fold here. Okay, there's people around you, Gemini, uh, who I feel want to connect with you okay it may not be love it may just be family and friends but guess what it's better than nothing because i do feel like for majority of you watching majority you are in separation okay that that's very obvious to me so i know that's not what you want to hear but with the separation card but the reality is that you know, for majority of you, you are in the separation time right now because this person uh, needs to figure some things out and so do you, okay? But we also have following the separation card, the card of very soon, which means very soon this is going to change. So that's what I was feeling all along is that right now it could, it could look, you know, dark and hopeless, but I feel like in due time, Gemini, the more you put more energy into things things that make you happy and freedom. We have the card of freedom. That's a big theme here. Things that make you feel free and happy and light and upbeat. Like the more you do that, the more you're going to attract either the same person or a brand new soulmate. Okay, I am seeing a soulmate. So 
If you felt like your person before was not in that category, then this is a brand new person, okay? And that's really what I have. So I will see you in the next video, Gemini. Thank you for watching. I'm going to link here on the screen your general December 2020 readings as, as well as other Gemini readings that I have done for you this month. Um, please feel free to check out the links below to support um, any links there. As you see fit, subscribe, tap the bell, like, thumbs up. Have a lovely December and happy holidays. I will see you in the next video very, very soon, Gemini. Take care of yourselves, okay? Bye.